Well, welcome back to the morning wrap. Summer is almost here. We think <laughs> as the temperature rises, the risk of summer dangers also goes up, especially for pets like this adorable jet here. So to discuss what you need to know to keep your pets safe this summer, we're joined by veterinarian and author of Lisette the Vet, Dr. Ruth McPete. How are you today? Great, thank you for having me. And how's Jet doing? Jet is doing great. <laughs> well, you know, we don't feel the heat yet because yeah. we've had this June gloom and this May gray, but we do have dangers that come along with the hotter weather. And you know, we're gonna see like triple digit temperatures in less than a month. Yeah. So what do we need to know about keeping our four-legged friends safe as the temperatures heat up? Well, the most important thing is that people realize that pets are more heat intolerant than humans are. So that's the first thing. What I recommend that they do is, first of all, always keep them inside whenever you can. So if it's a really hot day, the best thing to do is keep your pet inside. If they have to be outside for any length of time, you wanna make sure that they have water and access to shade. Uh, K&H actually makes a number of really cool cooling products, pun intended. Um, so they have a cooling bed that you can see is raised so it keeps your pets off the ground uh -huh. and the center is made of mesh so and you don't have to flow. plug anything in nope, it just don't goes have to plug own. anything in just uh -huh. keeps them off the hot ground okay they also have a cooling bed which you fill with cool water and that helps wick away the heat from your pet so taking advantage of cooling products again if they're going to be outside is a great thing uh, the second thing is hydration it is mm. really important that you keep your pets hydrated especially when it's hot and water is going to evaporate so make sure you have plenty of bowls around for your pets and um, if you go anywhere you want to make sure you take one of these travel bowls with you they attach to your purses I have them in my car you just want to always have one of those bowls with you and water for your pet now are there certain breeds that you need to be more cautious with that are more pro <laughs> prone to the heat related illnesses yes great question um, the smush nose or brachycephalic breeds like jet uh -huh. so pugs boxers uh, Frenchies all of those guys you're turning away from the camera. He's like, I just want to go to sleep, <laughs> mom. Can we wrap this up? Um, all of those guys are going to be more sensitive to the heat, so be very careful with them. Uh, another thing I recommend is that people limit their exercise. If it's really hot, this is not the time to take your Frenchie hiking. You really want to limit their walks to early morning and evening, especially exercise. So hiking in the morning, not midday, because they are at risk for developing heat stroke or heat exhaustion. And then the other thing is to check the ground before you go. So when it's hot outside, the ground, the cement, the asphalt, and the sand can reach dangerous levels. It can actually burn your pet's feet. So I recommend if you have to take them out at that time, put booties on their feet. Um, you can also, again, walk them in the morning and the evening. So and quick question for you. What are the signs that you should look out for that know you need to get professional help and go into the vet? Great question. So signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke are going to be that they're drooling excessively, that they're panting more than normal, bright red gums, bright red tongue, if they vomit, diarrhea, staggering, collapsing, anything like that. If you think your pet is suffering from heat exhaustion, get them out of the heat, call your vet right away. Um, the only other thing I want to mention is d uh, cars. Everybody knows mm. this, but we still see it. So please, um, if you can't take your pet inside with you wherever you're going, do not bring them, leave them home. Do not ever leave them in a parked car. Yeah, and I know cracking windows yep. is not enough. Not enough. Well, uh, thank you for being here, mm. and thank you for all those safety <laughs> tips. And Jet, thank you for being the cutest thing around. And uh, you can find more information about this on our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.